Okay. How are you doing, well, citizens? Citizens of the planet Earth. This is my, I guess, second video for this year, 2021. On January 1st, 2021, I was greeting to the whole world, the new year, because this is very special new year, what we are seeing now. A lot of things have gone in past from 2019, 20, Coming to 2021 as a pivotal point where things are going to change a lot for the cosmos, for the things which are around us, Mother Nature, Planet Earth. We're talking of those people first because where we live, that's our base. And Planet Earth is our base for now. If Planet Earth is happy, we are going to enjoy. So that was my wish start of the year for the people because they just were coming out of the first wave of coronavirus COVID-19 which we have seen worst in May 2020 where we had a lot of fatalities then in January onwards February we witnessed US announce almost 500k fatalities to COVID-19 India is already having 150k fatalities to COVID-19 so that was a really tumultuous year not going too much into it. I just want to focus on key events now. It's March 20th, 2021. It's about 8.50 UTC, 8.50 AM UTC hours. And I'm your uh, favorite host, SJS Rana, which is Surinder G. Singh Rana at yahoo.com. I'm putting up my post on Facebook for almost 10 years on World, uh, One World Press which is onewordpress.wordpress.com for almost 10 years. I've been writing on many forums as well on discussions, but I don't put live videos or too much of my YouTube content. However, now because of this pivotal uh, equinox, which we are all celebrating today, first of all, I want to give that message, which is a good message. Uh, this March uh, is very... Uh, fortunate we are enjoying the good weather everywhere and because the equator is going to line just straight line to the sun which is going to give us a lot of good blessings where we can have upliftment of our soul mind body and spirits see the whole COVID-19 scare yes I call it scare governments are scared people are scared officials are scared everybody's scared the scare doesn't have to be there if we have the right things with our mind, body, spirits to align with the nature. Okay. Now I'm going to come up to the main topics. I've got to discuss three, four quick topics and then I'm going to move on. I have a very short time uh, because of the citizens of the world uh, obviously are coping with a lot many things right now. They're quite busy. They're already stressed out with COVID-19. Every but he's uh, almost running around with a lot of uh, things in their head, what's going on, what's going to come. So a lot of my predictions, which have been going on for the last uh, uh, five, six years, are based on trying to guide humanity to come to a forum, to come to a place where they try to pre-prepare themselves. That's why I've been predicting. I was uh, using my tutor account, at S-J-S-R-A-N-A. That was suspended by tutor. I call it a mafia. Tutor is nothing more than a mafia. Wherever they find some good soul trying to alert the world of what the shadow government is doing, the mafia of Tutor immediately suspends it. So in 2019, they suspended my Tutor account at SGS Rana purposefully and based on some government feedback, especially from India, stooches from India, you know, they are very notorious people. You know, they don't like to hear the truth. That's the problem with India government stooges. Okay, there are very few people in India government which I have respect for, which really want truth to be out. And I'm going to name some of them. Uh, but however, that's not my topic here. My concern here is, uh, first of all, I want to bring the good news or the bad news are both with me. But the good news, I'm going to bring it to you first, which is basically, I want to first applause the India Supreme Court. And I owe with all my heart uh, blessings to them. They've done very two good judgments recently, which have really made a big difference for population of uh, India, especially the female folks. Uh, recently on 18th, uh, which is Thursday, just like two, three days back, Supreme Court issued a notice uh, directive 
to all the lower courts that from now onwards they are not going to treat the cases of sexual assault sexual battery the way they were treating earlier they're going to make it a neutral stand they're going to make it a stand where they will never emphasize on what uh, what was uh, the, the, what government the uh, females victims survivors were wearing what kind of uh, uh, solution they can uh, uh, put as a mediation so the court are not going to now give any mediation because very recently there was a big controversy with the top uh, cgi uh, chief justice of india where media mentioned that uh, he was uttering uh, compromise to a government uh, employee who was found raping a minor girl yes i think it was 14 13 years old girl which a government employee of india was raping and found guilty of that almost and coming up with the uh, bail conditions where supreme court uh, per media per news report from india stated that uh, cgi mr uh, cgi respectable cgi was issuing a statement that if that government employee was already married could marry that girl then probably they can let him go out like on a bail so but that i objected immediately because i raised my concern i'm watchful of these things very immediately i mentioned that this is not going to help in any way already female folks are suffering a lot in india i tell you i keep noticing every day every now and then um, a lot of minor girls are falling prey to the predators almost human trafficking empire here in india is too prevalent i tell you they're running the shadow government of india and government of india is ignoring them that's my problem with government of india the shadow government is having full control they're delivering females minor girls to the doorstep of the predators i already put in my article so what supreme court said was very very uh, it was a lang- landmark judgment it set as code of conduct for all the lower courts that they must not emphasize or pressurize survivors or female victims of any compromise any marriage formula or even a look at the dress code many times you know female were uh, suffering because uh, the other argument party defense counsel to the uh, rape accused would say that okay the female was wearing such garments okay or it was wearing like jeans or it was wearing mini skirt so what i mean they have liberty to wear what they want to wear it's the people who have to change their mindset okay that's the simple message supreme court sent to all lower court now this is a very monumental judgment i i appreciate it coming to the next topic i have been seeing lot of upheavals going around the world which i have been predicting time to time from earthquakes from you know uh, water disasters wind disasters i recently predicted there going to be a wind disaster uh, which did happen if you see in mongolia and china there was a big uh, sandstorm which occurred like 5 days back which is from uh, march 17th i predicted on march 15 16th on my post you can see i'm already posting on my facebook account which is www.fb.com at uh, or slash trust one must t r u s t one as a digit m u s t it's all one word okay so i'm posting those things now what i have come up to share the news with you is something which really shook me from my uh, different um, daily routines or chores which i do for uh, human humanity human human consciousness or i do it for social causes recently <clears throat> biden made very different comment and very surprising astonishing and basically putting up his own intellect to the test what he's capable of i was ignoring biden so long so far because there was a big controversy i know uh, former president trump did win a lot and he was supposed to be the president to my understanding but since since 117 which is 117 congress session from us declared and proclaimed biden as the legal winner i kept quiet i said okay fine i have respect for the us congress 117 session which declared biden as a winner and as undisputed uh, elected president of united states okay so i said i was quiet i didn't comment i didn't put any post i didn't even post much to my uh, my site and my posts however now almost lot of things i'm noticing as a domestic policy failure from biden not only the gdp is falling down i i see a crash on stock markets for uh, us i see a major problem with the gdp the way it's being handled i kept quiet even the open border policy is making a mess okay i am hearing cbp i am hearing the directors of dhs dss ice and even us uscis they are all making different uh, attention notices to the higher authorities that this is not going to work 
it's a complete mess right now. You see the amount of uh, illegal aliens, you know, which are barging in through, from the border south to the America. I mean, this is not the way you're going to run the country. Mr. President, you got to be very careful if you have been given authority by 117 Congress of the U.S., then you have to act diligently. You must protect the, um, uh, the U.S. citizens' uh, interests first. So make America great again was the uh, motto of the Trump, which he was doing it, delivering it very good to my understanding. He did it very well. I always have high regards for President Trump. He is a true patriot. And what he did for his country is, is, is amazing as a president. He has done more than what anybody could do. The whole family was sacrificing their life for the, uh, for the America. Now, recently, Biden made a comment to President Putin, which is two days back, stating that he's a killer. Okay, not only made it a comment that he's a killer, he said he's, he doesn't have a soul. And that drama intention, I was busy in my own work, my meditation, my, you know, my, my connectivity to the other world, but that drama attention, I immediately took that topic and then I jumped in. So far, I was ignoring Biden. I was ignoring what all he was doing. It is his domestic policy, his domestic affair. You call it internal matters, fine. That's what India calls. When it does every, anything wrong, it says internal matter. <laughs> okay, everything converts into internal matter because it, want, it wants people not to tell India government what they're doing wrong. That's my problem with them also. Okay, there's no internal matter anymore. Okay, the world is watching. It's one community. As long as you are not violating human rights or civil rights of people, of citizen of the planet Earth, I think you're doing fine as a nation. But the moment you start doing all those juggling up acts, that's where people step in. World community is shrinking every day now. Okay, so Biden made a comment coming back to the topic to President Putin that he doesn't have a soul; he's a killer. That brought that woken me up, and I immediately wrote to Biden and to my uh, viewers and to my subscribers to my email, which is from sjslana at yahoo.com. I also send almost uh, twice a day in the morning, in the evening, the updates to the world, the critical things which are going on. And I mentioned to Biden that this is something you have done beyond what going as a domestic policy. You are now meddling with the international affair. Not only Biden said that, he said that uh, Russia was meddling with 2020 elections as well. So if 2020 elections were being meddled by Russia, for example, let's say if he's right and let's give him a benefit of the doubt, then I think the election must be redone. Mr. Biden, you got to know that. Okay, first of all, but I don't think Russia was meddling because this was the witch hunt already uh, originally launched in 2016, 17. They were after President Trump that, you know, the whole time they were after President Trump with the witch hunt. Okay, that the elections were stolen. But then again, in 2020, Biden is coming with the same uh, statement. So I think then you must re you must go for the re-election. That's a simple solution. Okay, why? Unless you approve, why keep blaming Russia? So my problem with that is that Russia has been a very, very solid nation. It's been very peaceful. It's trying to defend itself. It has all the uh, rights to defend as a nation. It's got good stockpile of arsenal, of nuclear, ballistic, ICBM, whatnot, you know. And But it's trying to be very peaceful. It's trying, it has never asserted itself on any nation. It's only trying to bridge peace everywhere. That's what I've noticed with uh, Russia, especially President Putin. He loves peace. He's a man of dignity. He's a very patriotic person. I love uh, the, the patriotism of President Putin. He's a true patriot to motherland Russia, which really puts me as a high pedestal for President Putin. Same is with Mr. Modi. Okay, I have some good words for Modi. He's a true patriot also. He he is doing his best, but he's like Mr. Manmohan Singh, ex uh, PM of India, was almost uh, you know juggled up. Same as Mr. Mr. Modi, he can't do much, but he's a good person that way. Okay, now Biden, you got a problem. What you did, I already checked it. I posted on my post that I put a mark on you. I put you on my watch list for next 15 days. Okay, till April 1st or 2nd, I'm going to put you on a watch list. So you already started having these effects. You have bumbled up recently calling VP Kamala Harris as president of the United States. That's what you did just two days back. And just uh, yesterday, you 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 fumbled from the you stumbled from the uh, staircase of the airplane. Okay, those uh, uh, escalator. So that's what is going to happen because what you're doing wrong is wrong. You're directly blaming President Putin. You don't have a concrete proof, and 
see the courteous president putin he asked you openly and and very uh, respectfully that why don't you come live on tv with a streaming and he is going to debate with biden putin is going to debate whether he's a killer or you are a killer whether russia is doing something bad with the whole world or united has uh, states have a track record of dropping an atomic nuclear weapon only one nation has dropped or used atomic weapon which is undeniably america well i still don't argue because it's a military affair okay fine i mean it, it's a military affair it got wrapped up fine but you see the things okay who has committed the genocide of the native americans okay that's what is going on so i still put you on a mark that uh, you're on a march list byron a lot of things going to happen we'll see the result by this month and march 2021 and if you if you're a real man i think you should accept mr putin ex- uh, uh, proposal to you to have a live debate it will be streamed and there'll be it will not be edited so he has clearly marked it will not be edited if you're a true man then you got to go and Uh, tell to the world community what you said you really meant it it's not a joke you're doing or you are really in your senses so what you said about kamala harris vp is that she's a president uh, it's become a joke now everybody's laughing on it they're clapping people are clapping they're also they're going to clap more now because what you're doing uh, attacking president putin is depicting your own self that's what putin said <laughs> who said it did it and he says uh, it need it needs one of a kind to have the other kind okay so he is giving very good messages that's why i like about president putin he is very intelligent he is a intelligent person he is a true patriot to russia motherland okay now coming back to my next topic uh, uh we going to come up with covid 19 with big problems because i already coming up with the new topics i'm going to uh, i'm going to put to the world that i've already predicted this may 2021 as hashtag may 2021 npw which is new pathogens war now what is new pathogens war i'm going to discuss in detail in next next topic because i have a limited time i'm already passing my 17 minutes of the time i'm just going to wrap up pretty soon other thing is that we got to take care of um, how the things are moving now with the economy because world is going to still suffer and i think we already have trillions of loss trillions of dollar loss in the world gdp india is also making up things but for last two quarters it was down but this recent quarter uh, which is just like few weeks back they they basically uh, fudged the number i'll call the doctor the number to bring it up to 0.4 gdp which is i think a doctored number from india they do it very often just to bring them technically technically out of recession but india is in a recession it's got unbelievable amount of uh, unemployment they don't talk about it uh, none of the industries having positive strength they're all down even uh, you know the farmers from from punjab and haryana and himachal pradesh and people from all over india farmers are protesting for last 6 months now and how can you have a good uh, gdp when the agri is going down so i don't understand how india government fudges the number but it's trying it, it does very good job in fooling the world when it puts uh, latest gdp quarterly gdp as 0.04 hey it is making fool of everyone it's good in selling snake oil that's what india government is good in it sells very good snake oil that's what i have marked for gdp okay let's see what it does with the next quarterly gdp that's where i'm going to comment on my side that it's trying to fudge the numbers once again other thing is we're going to talk more on how uh, the next events are going to shape up till march uh 2021 because i sense a lot of new pathogens are coming up and coronavirus is already taking its toll i have already given up two three uh, uh basically new variants which are going to come up and strike humanity and this is something a big mess going around even in india i see here um, locally residing here people don't care of social distancing i see they are they are mingling up they are having good social gatherings and government doesn't care neither does the authorities care nobody is caring that's why india is a second wave it's going to hit it very hard it's already having i think today uh, today morning march 20th they reported as a uh, uh, 40900 odd number of new cases which is a big number jump from just 5 6 days and that was my prediction 2 3 weeks back when india government proclaimed oh they are out of coronavirus they are out of covid 19 i said no you are wrong once again every time india government is wrong in predicting their pundits are wrong all their pundits who are sitting inside you know and they're trying to say we know everything they are wrong and i give them the right prediction that you are wrong you will be proven that it's going to india's i think i am going to see india having half a million 
fatalities right now they are just 150k fatalities i think half a million fatalities will be given by india that's my prediction so keep keep this watch and let's see what india pundits those gurus you know those imposters say about this they have no clue they are just people who are good as predators you know uh, predators you know sexual predators they're just good at that that's why india mostly godmens are found as uh, as convicts of uh, convicts as sexual assaults to the females of minor girls anyways guys that's not my topic once again so i've touched few topics really quick and i wish all the well for the world community i hope they are celebrating the equinox and they are uplifting their mind body soul spend some time to go inside okay research inside okay have insights to your own soul you have the answers try to find out don't get stressed out okay try to stay safe okay don't try to uh, outperform this uh, virus or covid-19 or whatever the pathogen is going on uh, world is not like that the planet is shifting we're having a very big problem with the uh, pole shifting magnetic poles i'm going to talk in next topic and the cosmic rays which are coming and also we got to watch on march 21st okay uh, that big asteroid is coming up it's obviously it's coming up from the message from the other side okay they're sending all these things too much to check on us hardly any scientists know what is going on with these asteroids they are observing us okay they are observing us that's my message to you so be careful a uh, very good news was the mars uh, rover which was sent by nasa recently made a big success they're sending that high pitch noise nobody has any answer why mars is having that high pitch noise lots of thing on to come up okay i'm very happy and glad to hear that china and russia is going to make a moon base which i told them and they must also have political boundaries now so i think they got to decide now to have political boundaries on the moon because they're going to a lot of things they're going to find it's a hidden treasure on moon russia knows it china knows it and this recent alaska summit which uh, russia with china and uh, america us is having on the alaska is a complete failure why because you know starting the delegation uh, which was a guest uh, china was a guest in us in alaska for the summit which they invited they are already blaming china for everything all the mess for no good reason china was very right in rebuking the us administration right there then they are saying that you are the people who have a, a, a black track record okay they also put the issues of black light matters how you, they saw what was going on with america uh, justice system and the the the, the racial uh, apartheid nation that's come up with the black light matters okay there's a lot of things which are going on so china immediately uh, flashed back on a uh, us delegation that we are pointing at you before you start pointing at us that we are doing something wrong we have come with a good gesture to have a good economic forum i think china is going to do very good development its gdp is very good it's doing remarkable all the due respect to a very good gentleman a patriotic mr z president z is, is a very nice person very humble and he has come from a very a very good background from working class and he knows what china needs china mainland to succeed and he has already made a mark uh, with the cpc celebrating 100 years just recently that he wants the progress of china and the people he has elevated millions and millions of people from south uh, asia out of poverty we must respect china on that side they have elevated people from poverty nobody looks at that they are not the country who is hosting terrorism they are not the co- country who is doing drugs dealing they have got no negativity but for some good reason america to hide its own shortcomings is always uh, shooting darts on either uh, russia as a cold war or china or iran okay these countries are not they are not they are not here to fight they are not here to do a war but they are preparing for what america is about to do us under the influence of israel and india is not having good sense of the world geopolitics i think it's very important to get germany to get russia to get china to get uk and us sit together to form a new policy okay i'm naming these nations it's very important uk us russia china and germany okay these nations have to come together to form a policy for the world okay because they still have the sense knack of doing things better and with due regard i hope china will be given the right uh, status the stature it deserves china people are hard working okay uh, there's a big dispute going on with india and china based on economic form because they are in competition so 
India is always up to China to bring it down so that it can have an upper hand of economic development. That's not how it's going to work. China has proven the facts and India knows it. China is way ahead in military. They're already building base, uh, a real base near Mongolia. Uh, and China is already having a big uh, missile silos, ICBM, DF-41, DF-31. Uh, B, the variants which will come at the ICBM silos. Remember, these are multi warheads, okay? They also will carry, okay? They will also carry HG 70, okay? Which is a uh, uh, hyperglide vehicle 70, it's a hypersonic. So, these things which are coming up, and China has clearly mentioned it has a no first use of nukes policy. No first use of nukes, guys. You gotta be very careful. India doesn't have that policy. India claims that it's a very peaceful, it's a nation which loves peace, but look at India government. They have never said they have no first use of nukes policy, okay? But China has said they have no first use of nuke. They are not going to nuke any country. That's the policy of China. The base near Mongolia, which is north of uh, Wuhan, I know the whole area, almost like 200 square miles, and it's building every two and a half kilometer precisely around that uh, area of fencing. So obviously as a nuclear deterrent and when the nuclear dropout comes, it still have a silo surviving those nuclear fallout because somehow you have no idea with the leadership like Biden, they can have a nuclear strike anytime. With the person like Biden as a president, it's a disaster for America. I feel for America because I have worked in America. Guys, yes, I worked in New Jersey. I worked in for blue chip companies. I worked in Los Angeles. I resided in California. I know American people. They're very hardworking people. They're very generous. They're very good heart people. General people of US citizens are very, very nice people. I've been with them. I've, I've seen them. But the administration have to have a good, clear understanding of what the US citizen wants. For their safety, for their betterment, they got to do better. And Biden, you got to be careful now what you have challenged Putin. You have already made a lot of mess in the whole, whole cosmos and consciousness. And I think, obviously, wish you good health. <laughs> That's what Putin said. I also wish you good health because I've seen what's going to happen. So you got to be careful now. You have touched the hornet nest. You have awoken the beer. And now don't awaken the panda. <laughs> You're getting my message clear, are you? Biden, don't awaken the panda. You already touched the beer. And beer is going to teach you a lesson of life. <laughs> Take care. Well, citizens, have a good time. Have a good, uh, be safe, everyone. Okay, I see you again. Uh, you can always check on my uh, Facebook, www.fb.com uh, at or uh, slash uh, trust one must and one word press dot wordpress dot com and uh, on my i'm sending my updates on yahoo uh, which is sgsrana at yahoo.com and also on my uh, different uh, youtube forums take care bye